you know, over half a billion dollars from offshore from Malta and Gibraltar to fund my campaign. So we, now we have access to a hit plot too, Ukrainians and Russians. Luna's gonna go down and I hope it's by yourself. Is that what like the Russians are for? I just, that's like... If we do a, so my, my polling, my polling people are gonna charge me $20,000 to do a poll right before the primary. And if the mm -hmm. poll says well, Luna's gonna win, She's going to be gone. She's going to disappear. And you cannot tell anybody that. I would never tell but anybody. For that. the good of our country, we have to sacrifice the few. She's a crazy bitch. She's a Democrat with a gun. She supported Obama immigration policies. She's flip flop on, on abortion. She's a stupid, con, excuse my language, social media influencer. There's no reason that she should be in office. So how and does she, Matthew how do we make her go, though? I just don't understand that. It just... How do you make her what? How do we make her go? I call up my Russian and Ukrainian hit squad, and within 24 hours, they're sending me pictures of her disappearing. So it's really bad. Was, like, she's well, really, really bad. Well, it's not bad for us. She looks like such a good person. That's what just, it just... She's it, a piece of shit. I'm telling you, money ain't a problem for me. I'm self-funded. I got access to billions. I'm talking with a B, not millions, billions of dollars. Listen, I'm in deep, okay? I am in deep. I will admit that. And I, if I lose, I'm going to have to move out of the country. Is this, like, squad that you're talking about, are they, like, snipers? Or how, like, or... But, I mean, Russian like mafia. And I'm just trying to remain a humble servant of God, mm -hmm. and I've got a lot of people behind me. A political drama in Florida is playing out, and it seems like something just straight out of the movies. What's going on, everybody? Christian Ortiz here. So if politics in Florida can't get any crazier, a story broke out this week from Mark Caputo from Politico. News Nation's Brian Netton live in Florida tonight with details on this. Brian. Rob, this is wild even for crazy Florida politics. This is happening in a congressional district near Tampa. You have one candidate who says that her rival was talking about hiring a Ukrainian-Russian hit job. I don't look at this like a loss, and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, guys. The race for Congress in Florida is not just getting heated. One candidate says it's getting dangerous. Republican Anna Paulina Luna says her Republican opponent, William Braddock, planned to have her killed. Luna filed a restraining order that says she turned over evidence to police regarding a plan with a timeline to murder me made by William Braddock. Documents say Braddock threatened to contact his mob and make Anna disappear. Mark, you've covered Florida politics for a long time. Uh, does this even surprise you? Perhaps the most surprising thing about covering Florida politics is that I'm always surprised at the fact I'm surprised. There's always something new and insane. He, on more than one occasion, and initially of his own accord, brings up the fact in his words, that he has lots of money available, available to him, and he also has the availabil availability of Russian-Ukrainian hit squad. Now, this is his own words, Russian-Ukrainian hit squad. Anna Polina Luna's spokesperson says she will not be intimidated by these despicable violent threats and will absolutely not drop out of the race, but she takes threats seriously and will protect herself. I'll tell you that she did file a police report and that is actively being investigated right now. And the candidate accused of those threats has sent cease and desist letters to everyone who has a copy of that recording. He says that the recording may have been. I'm not saying that every politician is perfect. I know they have to do what they have to do, but this is blatant corruption. Blatant corruption. They're not even trying to be nice people. They're just out here talking about killing folks in their own way, having access to billions of dollars, having access to Russian military, to using Russian military terroristic tactics to kill their own opponents, to win. To win for what? To maintain a level of white superiority? It's insane. Anyway, share this message because we have to talk about it.